So in the previous video, we were talking about fixed boost levels using the smooth boost control knob that's supplied with the smooth boost kit. So we did a pull with the bypass valve fully open and we achieved minimum boost. So this is this combo is pulled for about 18 to 19 PSI. With the bypass valve fully open, it'll only make about three and a half PSI, which results in like 489 horsepower. Then we can have a fixed boost level that creates a little bit more boost. And then another boost level and everything in between, but these are fixed boost levels. And then the green one that you see is as if you didn't have a smooth boost controller on it at all. And the bypass valve just goes fully shut as soon as you go full throttle and you make max power. So now we're going to talk about how a Kaizen relay works alongside a smooth boost controller to ramp boost in. So I'm going to take away kind of these middle levels. And now all you'll see, that's bypass valve fully open, meaning minimum boost down here. And then fully closed as if you didn't have a smooth boost controller, making maximum boost up here. Then we use the Kaizen relay that passively listens to CAN messages such as engine RPM, throttle position, and most importantly, front and rear wheel speeds to ramp boost in. So with our kit, we provide a 12 position trim pot that has preset boost ramps that allows maximum boost or, uh, and minimum boost and everything in between uh, up top, but it ramps it in based on front wheel speed. The reason we use front wheel speed is if it did start to take the tires off, like let's say you used rear wheel speed and you hit it with too much power and you spun the rear tire, as the rear wheel speed increases, the boost would also increase, making wheel speed worse. So we use front wheel speed. And here's just an example. So on this particular pole, we went, we started with minimum boost down here. So we're full throttle at this point. We're making very little boost pressure, and then we ramp it in from, we start ramping it in at 40 mile an hour. So you can see that's why it's a little bit higher than this minimum boost, because we've already started to ramp it in. So the middle graph, this shows vehicle speed. So we're full throttle, we start to ramp boost in. And by about 70 mile an hour, we're at full boost. So this way, you can do a roll race where you can start even in second gear, even with a thousand wheel horsepower car on the street with no prep. You can smash the throttle and wait until you build up some vehicle speed and you don't have this abrupt torque change. So this was switch position one. Then we did another pull back to back just by clicking over to switch position two and you can see a different boost ramp. So it's the same. 40 to 70 mile an hour boost ramp, but it's different duty cycles. So this is just an example. These are all pre-programmed. You plug and play kit. All you do is plug it in. It's completely supplied and pre-programmed from us. And all you need to do is select which switch position you want. You can always revert back just by switching to switch position zero, and it'll be full boost all the time. We've got everything in between. So these two switch positions, you'll see in white, was making 2.9 PSI and pink was making 6 PSI here at 47 mile an hour and then it ramped up. So this is allowing you to control torque and not take the tires off. So you can find a switch position that works for you based on different power levels, different tires, different surface prep settings. But the most important thing here is that we work alongside the smooth boost we use CAN information to give you maximum power out the back, but ramp it in so you can use it in the front. 